Perhaps the most popular of all statistical measures are measures of central tendency. They include the mean or average and other determinants of what is typical for a group of values. Of the three major measures of central tendency, the mean, the median, and mode, the mean or the arithmetic average is most useful in, de in depicting what is typical for a group of values. It is used extensively within a number of other statistical formula, such as t-test, analysis of variance, and regression. Brief definitions of the three major measures of central tendency follow. The mean. The mean is the arithmetic average. For example, the mean of the following group of numbers, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100, is 80, and is calculated by dividing the sum of the values by the number of the values in the group. The median. The median is a point in a distribution or group of numbers above, above and below which one half of the scores fall. In the example 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100, 80 is the median with two scores above and two scores below 80. The mode. The mode is the number in a distribution or group of numbers which occurs most frequently. For example, in the following distribution, 70, 75, 75, 75, 80, 85, and 90, the mode would be 75 because it is the number which occurs most frequently. Two or more means are also used to compare the differences between two or more groups. For example, pre- and post-treatment tests, male-female performance indicators, or urban-suburban-rural schools characteristics. Figures A6A and A6B provide examples of two tables comparing the means of student language arts scale scores by gender and by special education services code. Along with the means, the tables show the number of cases, the n, and the standard deviation. The standard deviation will be discussed later in this course. The differences between the females and males in figure A6A is relatively small, almost 10 points, whereas the differences among the students in the special education services codes, figure A6B, are large, almost 90 points. While the differences in the means in the two examples above can be observed, their significance can be verified statistically. To do this, we can use a procedure that specifically tests for the differences in the means of two or more distributions or groups. A t-test is a test to determine the significance of the difference between the means of two and only two groups of values. Another procedure, analysis of variance, also known as ANOVA, can be used where there are two or more groups.